hey guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be doing a trash to treasure with two items that I found at the thrift store and I am going to make a cabinet slash shadow box for my husband's military yearbook and his father's military yearbook and some medals and plaques that we have gotten stay tuned this is going to be amazing I have a whole bunch of items I'm going to be using for this project. Some paint, some tape, some handles, some magnets, some fasteners to hang the cabinet. Um, I'm also using wave or I'm using folk art in white because my spray paint didn't quite work. And some wax. I had found this box at a local thrift store. It's pretty dirty, it needs to be cleaned, get those stickers off of it. But I loved how deep it was because my husband's yearbook is pretty um, thick, pretty long, and this just fit it perfectly. So I was so excited at the thrift store when I came across this piece. I was even more excited when I came across this one. I think this was a door to maybe a, another cabinet. Um, the glass was perfect, the wood perfect, and when I put the two pieces together, I knew this would work to make my cabinet. As you can see, these two pieces fit together perfectly. There's enough overlap with the glass frame over the base, the box, and exactly what I wanted for this project. I'm just going to start off by taping off the glass and then I used some printer paper to cover the center of it so it wouldn't get any spray paint on it. I took it outside and started spray painting. I've never had a problem with Walmart spray paint before but look what it was doing. It was just leaving gobs of paint. So I chucked the spray paint idea. I brought it in and I painted it with folk art white. I knew I was going to be sanding it so it wasn't too concerned with the gobs of paint that were on there so then I wanted the inside of this box to be darker and so I took some coal truffle and elephant paint and just made a little mixture of a dark color that I liked for the inside of this box. So now using some sandpaper, I thought I would distress the outside of this. It was working good around the glass, but not so much on the inside. The edges were coming out perfect, but the inside just wasn't getting to where I wanted it. So I decided to distress using paint and I just 
highlighted the outside I highlighted the um, corners and then I put a little bit of paint all over it and then sanded it again to get a distressed look I did the same thing with the outside of the box. I used some really extra gritty sandpaper to distress it. And I, then I came back with the paint and covered parts of it that I wanted to look more distressed that I couldn't quite get with the sandpaper and then sanded over it again.
After I had it the way I wanted it, I used some wax from Lowe's and gave it a nice coat of wax. This helps seal the paint and it also gives it a nice smooth finish.
now I'm going to put the back on this cabinet. I'm just using some foam board that I got from Dollar Tree, cutting it down to size actually a little bit smaller because I didn't want it to overhang. So I just cut it a little smaller than the cabinet and then I nailed it down. I then was able to attach the backs that came already on that one box that I bought. Um, it actually had hangers on the back of it, so I took those off and I was able to place them back. But this time I'm going to put them so that my cabinet hangs vertical instead of horizontal. Now it's time to attach the hinges. That way that my cabinet door can open and close. So I just kind of eyeballed where I wanted the door to set on the box. And then I attached the hinges
Once the hinges were in place and it was time to install the handle, I just put the handle in the center of the side of the door and screwed it in. After that, all I had to do was put the magnets on. The magnets came where you could pop them. They were little magnets. You could like break pieces off of them and they had adhesive. So I just put the adhesive, I peeled it off and I put the adhesive sticky part on the box and then I closed the door on it. That way it would stick to both sides. And then when I opened the door, they were separated. It worked out perfectly. Now that everything is assembled, it's time to just give that glass a nice cleaning. Make sure all the dust from all the sanding is off and that it's crystal clear glass to make my cabinet shine. there it is hanging on my wall i love this cabinet i love i was able to create it with items that i found from the thrift store the base of the cabinet was two dollars and 99 cents and the glass part of the cabinet was also two dollars and 99 cents add in a few dollars for hardware and i made this cabinet for around ten dollars i have wanted something 
to display my husband's yearbook, his medals, his dog tags, my father-in-law's yearbook and plaque. My son has some medals in that cabinet. It's just such a special cabinet and I that was precious items going into it. And I'm so glad now they're out for people to see. They're not going to get damaged. And I was so excited to be able to make this Trash to Treasure video to show you. Think out of the box. When you see these things at the thrift store, you never know what they can become. I absolutely love this cabinet. I hope you did too. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Ring that bell for future notifications and give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing it right. As always, I love y'all. I hope you had a blessed and wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all.